Hello, greetings. Uh, greetings. This is me again, and I'm I'm live now on Facebook too, and uh, recording for YouTube to upload this video. So, getting ready. Anyone who I mean here, what am I seeing? Anyone who has been killed? Let us uh, just for a moment any truth seekers in this religion oh was killed in those 1400 years up till now since 1400 years up till now so I'm very, very tired, but still doing this. Let's see how it goes. Maybe another time also, I will come back. I'll make this video and come back here. Live stream Facebook. So I was searching. Uh, you know, since I've had this trauma, it's uh, difficult for me to read a lot in one go and do a full research in one day or so. But I was reading on Abraham, so he was the first Jew. I was reading online <coughs> and uh, did a few re uh, readings on it, whether the Torah had Abraham. Uh, so the Torah, Abraham observed the Torah. I was uh, I read about it on Google search. I was told about, <laughs> and uh, so here we go making mistakes, impediments. So guess what? I found another verse that uh, this great Shia verse, Ali commentary Akapuya, takes me from one verse takes the Shias from one verse to another see commentary and what is this verse i will speak about it but let me just say that so before i could reach the last uh, verses comment surah araf's commentary the second verse he is given in the commentary section you know they say under the verses quran verses to see commentary of surah but here they don't put surah they just say anam verse 108 you know like that nahel verse 76 so until i forgot what the real uh, verse was like when they mention in the quran No, when they when the when the Lord's name is mentioned in the Quran, uh, they take an aversion to it. So, so are you really tired? But I have to do this, like you know Abraham, being a Jew, a Hebrew, and then where this Jewish name came from? It's an ethno-religious uh, religion, ethno no religion whatever they call it uh, well I haven't opened it to uh, the uh, this thing saved to Chrome whatever I read from the Bible from the Hebrew Bible Torah and all taking a shortcut so like was Abraham a Jew he's the patriarch of Jews he was the first uh, who, who took a covenant. God made him take a covenant and all this, right? So you can read about this in detail. Sorry, I'm not able to explain properly yet. And uh, so uh, how was, where did the Torah come from? Actually, it began through Abraham and then was <coughs> given to Moses. So the secrets that the Jews have are very like metaphysic, 
are mysterious, you know, like the trinity of Christians. Very few people get it and understand it. Because uh, if you are sincere, then you'll understand it. And then they don't give their secrets out because there are false prophets. And they have to be careful about the false prophets claiming that, uh, you know, like Prophet Muhammad has been, had claimed. So very cleverly, like, it took me such a long time today. But what long? It's been, this is my, in my 50 plus years of being a Shia, of 40 something being a Shia, I couldn't get it myself so confused. Uh, so you know how you can exploit, religious scholars can also exploit, and uh, they not knowing properly or misunderstanding. So I will show it to you how the misunderstanding, you can see it, you can see it when I talk to you here and discuss but about these Quran ayats. These are for real contradictions that I've shown you and I'm continuing from that uh, ayat in uh, Surah, uh, where, uh, this uh, Surah Ali Imran, right? 65th ayat so i've had i have my notes <coughs> also i kept those verses there from surah al imran and surah ala how like you have to see this how cleverly prophet muhammad exploited the jewish religion and the jews and the christians so we're going to bear witness, aren't we? Invitation. Let's see if we can bear witness to Prophet Muhammad and Islam. One God. So Abraham, you have little knowledge of, of Muslims. You have ne no Jews, Christians. You have argued about this. And since, you know, the former scriptures, when they weren't corrupted, but you corrupted them with your tongues, but there are some good Jews and Christians who have kept their covenant and uh, so they have recognized Prophet Muhammad. So the good Jews and the good Christians at the time of Prophet Muhammad, here we are, here we are. So I think I'll start from here we are. So Mike, it's going here and uh, going back to that uh, so, I'll just open my notes, right? Here we are. Here, this is uh, Surah Ali Imran, verse 62, uh, 66. Okay, there's some prayers going on still after the call of prayers. Here we are. Here you are. Let's say here we are. But the Quran verse says, here you are, those who have argued. This means the Jews and the Christians, uh, those who have argued about that of which you have some knowledge, some in bracket, close bracket, the word some, some knowledge. Uh, not knowledge, but the word some, some knowledge. But why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge? But why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge? <laughs> so before this verse, and Allah knows while you know not. So you see points I've been missing now in detail going, uh, examining this, these verses that I found. The first one, the last one in my previous video. Surah al Imran, verse 65. O people of the scripture, I'll just uh, pause this video for a while. The prayers are too loud. Um, okay, I'm back. I don't know until when the, the prayers are on the loudspeaker going on. This is uh, the last prayer. Uh, so they're on the loudspeaker now with the full 
prayers. Not only the prayer call. Uh, so sorry, I just have to go on. You'll have to bear with this. Uh, Surah Ali Imran, verse 65. It's like Prophet Muhammad took that thing about, uh, I read it in the Jews, scriptures, uh, just uh, Wikipedia, like you know, and others. Thanks to BBC and all other websites. Like he, uh, God made him take a covenant and then he was, Abraham was the follower, the believer in one God and all this. So from there, Prophet Muhammad takes it. Sorry about the prayers uh, behind and I cannot wait. I mean, this is after the prayer call. This is saying the prayers on loudspeaker. <coughs> so, O oh people of scripture, why do you argue about Abraham while the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him? Then will you not reason, right, until after him, until after Abraham? Then will you not reason? So I read, uh, it was very difficult uh, to uh, get, you know, because Abraham is the father, patriarch of the Jews, father of the Jews, the first Jew to establish this one God, worship of one God. So now since a Jewish thing, where does the Jewish thing come from? And all this very difficult to prove to the Muslims, even more so difficult. Like we are told, Abraham was a Hebrew man, also, right? He was a Hebrew. So, Muslims will just, you know, get up and catch my throat. So, let's also think of those silenced by the Muslims, even the Shia sect, if we publish it and leave Islam, we say, we say we've, leave, we've left Islam on these grounds that we don't find Islam a true re religion. So let's have, pay some respects to their, you know, They were seekers, their innocence, not guilty. Why they were killed for that, leaving Islam and uh, voicing out honestly, announcing it, declaring it. They were killed. All those killed, whether Jews, Christians, Muslims also, on wrong grounds, wrong grounds. Okay, the Crusades and wherever anyone was killed on wrong grounds. Pay some respect for a moment, silence. And uh, now we carry on. So this verse, uh, really didn't uh, it uh, to me then will you not reason that Abraham now I read Abraham was uh, the first one to believe in I mean to establish this one God worship take a covenant of one God right, to maintain it, not Nu, but Abraham. We are told in the Jewish, I got it from the Jewish scriptures, uh, the Old Testament. Okay, and uh, so, O people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham while the Torah and the gospel were not revealed 
were not revealed until after him. Then will you not reason? So what uh, he this is saying is that this verse that uh, he was the follower of one God. Will you not reason? He was. Why are you arguing about it? And since now, verse 66, here you are, those who have argued about that of which you have knowledge, some knowledge, but why do you argue about that which, of which you have no knowledge? And Allah knows while you know not, which you have no knowledge. Allah knows while you know not. So, I mean, I was thinking in the former scriptures, couldn't, they have been mentioning Abraham, but so some knowledge has come in the former scriptures. And about Abraham, you have no knowledge. So then we are told in the uh, this other verse that Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was uh, an upright man, a Muslim, believer in one God. So we're going to examine this uh, verse even deeper. Uh, I wanted to go into the Jewish text and find out. But uh, what happened is, uh, I said, no, it's not going to work like this. So here is the 67th verse of Surah Al-Imran. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian, but he was one inclining toward truth. A Muslim submitting to Allah and he was not of the polytheists. So it, uh, the Quran claims that the Jews and the Christians who had uh, didn't have much knowledge and they argue about a certain knowledge about Abraham of which they have no knowledge. So on that they argue what Abraham was. So the Jews say he was a Jew the father of the Jew, patriarch of the Jews, and uh, the first Jew to make a covenant with God, or God made a covenant with him, made him. You can read that in Google search, and uh, nor a Christian. So he wasn't a Christian, of course not. But here the, you know, the Christians will explain to you properly why this fails uh, as an uh, argument to be put forth to them. Why this ayat fails? And the Jews will explain to you why the ayat fails. But uh, this verse, like submitting to Allah, Muslim is the one who submits to Allah. Oh my God. So it's uh, kind of open to you know, the Christians will say, well, since I showed you the verse from, uh, God also calls Abraham the uh, Shia of Nu, who followed the way of Nu. So, you know, here the Christians can have their own way of saying, well, now, you see, uh, Muhammad has a good thing of saying that uh, what uh, a good stance uh, to say that well now every one of you should you all we believe in one God he appeals to their one Godness and he says that why don't you become you know we all believe in that one God and you leave uh, Chris because Christians you've changed the Bible with your tongues Jews, you have corrupted your uh, your Bible, Hebrew Bible, with your tongues. So, you know, it doesn't make sense like this. Let's see. Uh, to me also, I think I do believe he's a hypocrite. Uh, but now going into detail, uh, seeing it through how Muhammad wanted us to see through and then giving my own opinion about it, then if they deny you a Muhammad, 
This is now from Surah Ali Imran, verse 184. I jumped to 184, but important. Then if they deny you, O Muhammad, in brackets, close brackets, so were messengers denied before you who brought clear proofs and written ordinances and the enlightening scripture. So, you know, like exploiting this Jewism and Christianity, Muhammad's uh, verses, Allah goes on to say this. Now, wouldn't the Jews have it in their scripture when it says here in Ali Imran verse 184, then if they deny you, so were messengers denied before you. But they did not deny Abraham. Who, okay? And then uh, carry on with this verse. Who brought clear proofs and written ordinances and an enlightening scripture. So you already, we must say that the Jews and the Christians already have these written ordinances, clear proofs from their prophets, messengers, sorry, and an enlightening scripture. They have their enlightening scripture, and uh, Allah mentions the Torah, uh, the Injil, the Gospel, as they call it. I mean, uh, Injil as uh, a Prophet, uh, Allah calls it, Prophet Muhammad's Allah. So I thought of uh, discussing this, bringing to our attention. Can we bear witness? Can we bear witness to Muhammad as Muslims? Just it, Muslim consists of submitting to the will of Allah, right? Uh, so let me not miss my points and spoil my video. Then later on again, I'll be coming back and finding another verse. Wait. So in this verse, verse 184, enlightening scriptures, messengers you denied, but they did not deny the one important messenger that you say was a Muslim, the first Muslim, right? Or was a Muslim. And uh, he was the father. Now, what was he the father of in this? Was he called the father of something or just a nation? Another verse comes up. But I haven't searched for that. Uh, that uh, Abraham was a nation. Not only upright and a Muslim, but a nation. So what Muhammad says here, again, then if you deny, O Muhammad, Muhammad's Allah, actually. So were messengers, so were messengers denied before you, who brought clear, clear proofs. So these Jews, Muhammad expects them, Christians and uh, Jews and Christians, now to, you know, he's appealing to them. Here we are now. Christians, Jews and Christians. Who have they denied? Jews have denied Jesus Christ, but not Abraham, not the other rest of the prophets. Many of them are not even mentioned, and the Quran says that many, some of them are not mentioned, or many of them are not mentioned. In this Quran, there were messengers that came before, but they're not mentioned. A lot of them are mentioned in the Bible, Old Testament. So there were enlightening scriptures, and they do believe in it, right? That's why they're called. <coughs> um, this thing, Christians, Jews of that time. So anyways, the good, the ones who Muhammad is appealing to by saying, you know, Abraham was, Abraham we can take, because this is what he says about Abraham. 
again going back to the verses uh, very very clear very slow repeating 67 Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian but he was one inclining toward truth you know like we could I could maybe have not one inclining toward truth but he was a Hebrew and he Jews say he's uh, the father of Jews the first Jew to what believe in one God and he was one inclining to a truth a Muslim submitting to Allah and he was not of the policies even the Jews believe it was not of the policies Abraham was okay uh, various uh, translations Surah Al Imran verse uh, so before this 67 verse that I've just read out now 66 here you are those who have argued about that of which you have some knowledge but why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge Allah knows while you know not and Allah is going to tell us what we know not and Allah is telling us that Abraham was a Muslim and Allah also tells us that Abraham was a Shia of no I don't know how important that is uh, but it needs I need to mention that so that maybe something can come out of it uh, so this verse 66 which I read out now goes right after verse 65 which I'm going to read out again O people of the scripture why do you argue about Abraham while the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him how could this lapse be that uh, you know it's like Muhammad is saying uh, Allah is saying that uh, Abraham was one believer of one God <coughs> I mean he couldn't he have said that okay uh, I'm an Arab and uh, you know Arab Muslim or why do you call Abraham a Jew the father of Ju uh, Judaism and Christians why do you call yourselves while well, the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him so you have no knowledge of him because the Torah and the gospel were revealed after Abraham right so this book and I'm present during your time right now Prophet Muhammad so Allah says I've sent a messenger now and I'm going to reveal to you your bearing witness to the ayats which ayats mean signs also signs of God <coughs> which in English we say verses but in Arabic it means signs of Allah so while the signs and you're bearing witness to it or you've borne witness to it why would you deny it so have I forgotten that I'll have to go to Ali Imran uh, you know you bear witness uh, then if you deny and okay enlightening scriptures then if uh, this is uh, Yusuf Ali quite difficult English books of dark prophecies and book of enlightenment then if the, uh, they reject thee so why were it but previously I read it from Sahih International Surah Al Imran verse 184 then if they deny you O Muhammad so were messengers denied before you who brought clear proofs and written clear proofs so this can't be here it seems like it can be up for the Jews and the Christians but yet 
they have to now recognize the last prophet in this Abrahamic religion. And Muhammad is correcting them, the Christians, by saying that, no, no, no son and everything. So they've gone wrong. Messengers denied before you. And, you know, verses on Jesus Christ for the Christians in the uh, Quran. What, uh, who brought clear proofs and written ordinances and enlightening scriptures and you denied. So we expect, we expect that at Prophet Muhammad's time, the Jews and the Christians who know their book well <coughs> and who have Abraham's book too, would heed to the words of and listen to these words and then embrace Islam. Right? And those who didn't, they they get a very strong warning and hellfire and distorting of that. That's why they couldn't. Uh, they are blamed for, you know, the one, Jews and Christians who did not accept Islam during the time of Muhammad when these verses had come down to him. And he was relating to them and telling them, declaring to them these signs, saying, these are signs. I'm a prophet. Now believe in me, your Abrahamic last prophet, seal of all prophets. How come you don't recognize me? So from here, I felt that uh, this was a good verse to, like, I skipped all that. I couldn't cover all that in the end two hours of my video live stream. But you know, this is something about this verse, 65 of Al Imran, doesn't make sense. Oh, people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham? While the Tahara and the gospel were not revealed, but were, were they not replete with information about Abraham? They, it, they, they have to be. Because he's the father of Abraham. What is he? Abrahamic religion. All religions come from him, these monotheistic religions. One after the other. It's just one religion, let's say. Right? But the, these Jews and Christians don't see it so and... However, that's beside the point. The point is the way this uh, structure of this, the way and the way, what is it saying, pointing to? It's saying that you don't know. You don't have full knowledge. So you uh, should have just waited. Or you shouldn't have called yourself Jews and Christians because Abraham was not a Jew or a Christian. So you went wrong. <clears throat> so this is what it, uh, the Muslims will also say. Uh, oh, people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham? Okay, so we can go on. I can go on explaining this verse like deeply, right? Through the Muslim side. They will not ever understand why Christians and Muslims, uh, Jews stayed Jews and Christians. When this great uh, one God Prophet Muhammad is, you know, correcting them now, the seal of all prophets, it's finished now. Why now they... But look at this. It means that uh, what should... They should be waiting and they should uh, not ha have stopped at the Jewish thing. Abraham was a Jew, and that we are Jews, Yehudis, in Hebrew, I think Yehudi also, while Torah, while Torah and the Gospel were not revealed. Why do you argue about Abraham? While the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed until after him. So I wanted to see if someone has the book of Abraham. Jews have the book of Abraham. Okay, uh, 
let's go further. Let's see if we can to see, you know, while the book, as if the Torah, Torah is said it's a mystical thing of uh, the Hebrews, that it was put in the tongue of Abraham, the Torah. And then this Torah, he observed it. Abraham was the first one to observe the Torah. This same Torah that was given to Moses by God now. So by step by step. And then I read somewhere that Moses was crying as he wrote the Torah. Actually, Moses wrote the Torah. But before the Torah could reach Moses and that he have to write it down, it was given in the tongue of Abraham. This Abraham. So even if it, you don't believe in that, let's say it's a mystery of the Jews and they hide it from us, right? But I read it somewhere in Google search. And what if I couldn't have found it? Because at that time I was in Arabia and I didn't know these secret things about the Jews and my, you know, and knowledge was not, information was not on the fingertips, on my fingertips, you know, just press the button and you get it. And if you have a mobile, what if some poor person doesn't have a mobile? Prophet Muhammad can really, someone can exploit you and tell you, one God, I'll make all these, you know, surahs, any, a little bit of intelligence and poetic and all this. And what if someone doesn't have, because there have been false prophets, there have been books burnt. Alexandria Library books were burnt. Why? Because they had Greek philosophers and all these heathens, perhaps, or whatever they called them, those philosophers. Socrates was given poison. So you see, many people were killed like that, the true ones. And then there were uh, very like Aristotle and philosophers like Aristotle. So there were some very intelligent people. Anyways, I don't know how this prophet got this book of revelations, you know, and now he's playing with all I can see, but I have to give you evidence of what I'm telling you. I can see that he's playing, he's exploiting this one Abrahamic religion. Okay? <clears throat> Through this ayat, it's, uh, it's uh, greatly shown to me. O oh, people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham while the Torah and the gospel were not revealed until after him? That's a great gaslighter exploitation. The greatest I've ever come across, an ayat like this. Then you will, then will you not reason? Oh, the reason we will use, you know, is that Jews will think, yeah, no, no, wait a minute. A Torah, in our book, it's that Torah came on the tongue of Abraham first. You know, like we say, the light of Ad, uh, from Adam to it went until it reached Muhammad. Right? Then it had to be again declared that who brought out who is Prophet Muhammad. I have come, but my light was before Abraham was, or something, you know, before the light of Abraham. Like that's a Gnostic uh, thing of the Shia say, right? <clears throat> so then, uh, Gnostic knowledge of the Shias, that the Shias have got from the Imams of the progeny of Prophet Muhammad. Okay, 
here you are, those who have argued about that of which you have some knowledge. Now the Jews can gather that this is not a true prophet, because what I read on, let me show you if I have another tab, or, because I'm on my notes right now. Oh, I'm on my notes. You know, going to Chrome. Like where I didn't, oh God, I didn't save it. But I will show you searching in Chrome here because it's very, very slow. See Abraham where I read it. So before, okay, I'll come to this later on. What I'll do now is get out of this. Then if you deny, so were the messengers. And if they reject, so were the rejected messengers before the you came with clear. There are the verses of Allah who recite them to you, Muhammad in truth. These are the verses, 108 verse. I'll just, uh, after that I will show you in the end. Okay, or maybe in some other video because my uh, condition is such, it's so unreliable. Um, these are the verses of Allah who rec we recite to them, O Muhammad, in truth. And Allah wants no injustice to the worlds, i.e. his creatures. Remember this. And we say the greatest inju injustice has been done now. I mean, not now, but now we can see it. Now that we, I can see it, I leave Shia Islam also. And Islam altogether. These are the signs of Allah we rehearse to thee in truth. And Allah means no injustice to any of his creatures, okay. Verse Allah, 18, Surah Allah. Indeed, this is in the form of scriptures, whatever is in verse Surah Allah. Uh, before this, uh, and, uh, and this is in the books of the earliest revelations, again repeating myself, uh, verse 18, and now my eyes are, eyes are on verse 19. The scriptures of Abraham and Moses. So there were scriptures of Abraham, were Musa. They put to see books of Abraham and Moses. So where I read in that, uh, okay, in that Hebrew Bible about the Hebrew Bible, secret knowledge. I mean, in there, or is it secret or not? I don't know. Okay, you know, Abraham, Abraham, Torah. Right? Oh. I just got it here somewhere, chosen to be the progenitor of the Jewish nation. Yes, but this Torah, Patriarchs, Hebrew Patriarchs. I had just got it here. Abraham, our father, and theirs. Our father Abraham obs observed the entire Torah. This is ucalgary.ca. This is the University Calgary website. Abraham, I'm just reading it from outside. Uh, can you see this? Uh, just, you know, the search thing. Just showing you just like that. So the search outside, like searching Google search, not going inside the website. So thanks to University of Calgary dot CA, meaning Canada, I think. <coughs> yes, yes. Abraham, our father, and this. Our father Abraham observed the entire Torah, the one later on given to Moses, before it was given to Israel. As it is written, Genesis, I mean, why he got it like this. In, in Genesis 26, 5, verse 5. Because that Abraham obeyed my voice and kept dot, dot, dot. So now you can read this, go into details. 
Abraham as a disobedient in Genesis, in the Torah's depiction of Abraham, the chosen one of God, Abraham actually doubts God's promise. But whatever it is, this is the Torah.com article from the Torah.com article. Just outside I'm reading it. Uh, Torah says it was Abraham who received the covenant from Yahweh, BBC, dot co dot uk on abraham just reading from outside religions judaism and uh you know uh colon abraham so just this is important what calgary gives that our father abraham observed the entire torah which is mentioned in the quran torah torah moses is torah before it was given to Israel, meaning even to Moses, as it is written, why? Because, you know, so observed. And then you can read inside. It came on the tongue of Moses, of Abraham, not Moses. The first one to observe the Torah was Abraham. Ah. <sighs> Oh, you can read the completion of the Torah and its elevation to the center of post, ex whatever. Uh, in Wikipedia also, you can maybe find it, but I couldn't. Whatever I got on top, and then I went a little inside, I chose after searching on Google. Okay? So, Jews could not. Because, but, you know, because of all these things, but what... Jews could, must have seen through Prophet Muhammad, those uh, who were, you know, not that, could not have seen through, but Jews could see through Prophet Muhammad that he was a liar. Because they have their mystical, because if you tell them like this, right? <coughs> What's that verse again? 65 of Ali Imran. My goodness. So, you know, then... <laughs> because in, in your previous books, very little knowledge, like knowledge was given. Now it's come, and you bear witness. So the verses I couldn't, f really other verses that I could exp explain to you further that, look, the Jews could not believe in him. Of course, you can uh, deceive and fool, you know, anyone who believe, uh, wants to believe in, like, yeah, one God, yeah. You know, like that on top of it, like, and you have very little knowledge in your Torah. I mean, Abraham came before even the Torah was re revealed. Just before even having this Jewish knowledge that I searched today only on Google search, like, I could see that this verse was not uh, a reasonable verse to put forth for any kind of argument, you know. But you mentioned the Torah, you mentioned Abraham or Musa's books. You, you mentioned both of their names together, one after the other in Surah Allah. And then you uh, uh, appeal to, this is like, um, I can't find the word. Even in Urdu, I will not be able to find the word, right? Uh, I can only explain this kind of a thing in English. But this is as far as I can go right now. So please digest this. Think of it. What I found later was that I was searching. I was very tired. Imagine people tired. You know, some people sick. And Muhammad wants to tell them, you know, come here. Or And I say, no, I, um, you know, with a la uh, not that much intelligence, you can really fool them. And you have to be really knowledgeable. Your Imam or Muhammad has to make you really knowledgeable in all these things. And so he's, if you're not knowledgeable, what will he say? Like if you can't read and write, you know, illiterate. And he himself could not read and write. But the angel, whatever God taught him, we are told. He didn't learn anything from traveling with his uncle Ab Abu Talib but that God told him and taught him. 
okay now we come to okay so that m is going to <coughs> you see some of the muslims are so hyped up in their conditioning that even i for this i was like what 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 am i reading am i reading reading this properly how and see i went to oh no the muslim side one allah and abraham i couldn't find jewish mm, it's an ethno religious thing and they call abraham the jew the father no don't he's surrendered to god muslim is what surrender anyone who surrenders to one god abraham is a muslim so if you have knowledge a little bit of torah and you are so clever to write these ayats bring them about then <clears throat> what will the innocent people do those who can't and uh, don't have that much of a knowledge you know they will succumb to this oh one god oh my god and rasulullah put islam like from the beginning to the end anyone who surrenders himself to allah is a muslim but the now come what is a believer now you know what is a believer believe in allah and this messenger and you have to believe in allah and this messenger right so the muslim is the one who submits his will to allah one god believer is a higher status i think allah had set a seal on them hearts so i just drop that for a moment and just see this surah baqara <clears throat> I got a run around from my own Shia commentary section. I went to this verse and they said, go look, uh, check these, these verses, three verses. One in Surah Baqarah, one in Surah Ara, uh, Araf, and one in Surah Nahal. Surah Nahal 108. And I was like, you know where it says some other thing. Allah set the seal on their hearts and on their hearing and on their eyes is a veil. Great is the penalty they incur. Oh, this is, I've opened to Surah Baqarah, verse 7. Okay, so now this multilingual Quran, and then the other multilingual Quran, 7. Why did I go to 7, 1, 7, 7? And then, is it this one? Oh, it's Surah Isra. I wanted to see Bani Isra. You know, the Maharaj verses. So I was checking about Jews and Christians, the Torah, the, the Bani Israel. Do they think they are special people? And why shouldn't they? Or if any verse is kind of discrepancies, having discrepancies in it. So 46 of Sur Surah 17 of uh, the chapter 17 in the Quran. Verse 46. And we have placed coverings on their hearts and a heaviness in their ears, lest they understand it. And when you mention, when you mention, I don't know why I'm getting stuck in, like I have some hypnotic control over me, someone controlling me. Oh, sorry, I want this color to be dull. Teal. Um... Uh, 46, verse 46, uh, start from where I had to stop. Because you see, Muslims don't want to see this. So what the, Shia, uh, what the Sunnis do, they blame the Shias about this, right? Look, when thou dost commemor commemorate thy Lord and him alone in the Quran, they turn on their backs, fleeing from the truth, in brackets, from the truth, close bracket. Shakir translation, that was Yusuf Ali's translation, now Shakir's translation, 46 of 46 verse. And we have placed coverings on their hearts and a heaviness in their ears, lest they understand it, 
and when you mention your Lord alone, not Allah, but your Lord, Rabbika, Rab, Rab. And when you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, they turn their backs in aversion. And sometimes even the verses are, if you mention your, uh, you know, if in the mosques or something, if only Allah's name is mentioned, then they turn away in, or they make a, a disgusting face or they turn in aversion or whether it's written like this. I can't rem remember right now. Like I'm so tired, I'm getting hypnotized, stuck. They have more power over me now. <laughs> I'm controlled. Okay, so, because you see, Muslims would not want you to leave the religion. They think this is the only religion that can save you. You know, so they're doing a great uh, deal of good to us. Now, 17, Surah 17, verse 46. What was it? When you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, now it's in the Quran. They turn their backs in aversion. This verse says in the Quran. You mention your Lord alone. <coughs> Refer to commentary of Al-Baqarah, meaning Surah Baqarah, verse 7. Surah Araf, verse 179, and Nahal 108. You see, I, I, then had to, I said, no, 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 but no, I went to Baqarah, I went to verse seven, seven of Baqarah, I went to Araf, verse 179, and I went to Nahal, verse 108, and none of it says, none of it has this part, like this, you know, when you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, then uh, they turn their backs in aversion. It's about Lord, the commentary is about, you know, the covering from Rasulullah and Allah. Hidden veil put by Allah between the Holy Prophet and them. Above, this verse, it's like this, you know, above commentary under verse 45. When thou dost recite the Qur'an, we put between thee and those who believe not in the hereafter a veil invisible. Please check. Today I checked and I have not much. But I'm telling you, to, uh, you check and see whether I'm telling you the truth or not. And then you, come, then you uh, can tell me, you know, how bad I am apostate and liar and deceiver. Now, I wouldn't want to deceive you about these things. Even if there was no hellfire waiting, I don't know, something inside of me just says, you know, I don't want to deceive you. I have prayed that if I cheat myself, may I cheat myself, if it comes to that, you know, like, Someone wrote, tough times never last, but tough people do. So if when push comes to shove and I have to cheat, I'll cheat myself, but not another. You know, I pray that, right? When I come down to my knees, completely, right? Broken. May I not cheat anyone else. Please. So, refer to the commentary of Al-Baqarah. It says, verse 7, Al-Baqarah, verse 7, Araf, Surah Araf, verse 179, and Nahl, <coughs> Surah Nahl, verse, I have to say verse 108. It doesn't say Surah, neither does it say verse here. It just says Nahl 108, Baqarah 7, Araf 179. What does it write? What it has written uh, above this verse. It's, the verse is like this. These verses that you refer to the commentaries are like this. Just the verse above here in the same surah. Surah 17, verse 45. And when you recite the Quran, we place between you and those who do not believe in the hereafter 
a hidden barrier. Akka Medipuya says there were spiritual barriers between the Holy Prophet and the disbelievers because in spite of what is stated in the preceding verse, they cut themselves off from the true nature and therefore were isolated from the Messenger of Allah, the hidden veil put by Allah between the Holy Prophet and them, sometimes made them unable to see him even when he was standing before them, while they were seeing other things. Hence, now comes verse 46 again, the one I read at, uh, the first time, in, of this Surah uh, 17. And we have placed coverings on their hearts and a heaviness in their ears, lest they understand it. And when you mention your Lord alone in the Quran, they turn their backs in aversion. What do the Shias have to say about this? Because you have to mention Rasulullah. You see, this is not Quran only. Even the Quran only have to mention Rasulullah. Even the Sunnis mention Rasulullah. Right? Even uh, Allah's Allah sends, says, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Musa, and sends blessings on Rasulullah, the last messenger, and salutations. So, uh, remember Surah Zabayat? And then remember Surah Fatayat? So why have the Shias denied this? Under 47, yeah, 46 I read, right? Now, under 47 verse of Surah Isra, 17th chapter of the Quran, 47, uh, under 47, what is this? The all-conquering force of the Holy Prophet's words and deeds used to stupefy the disbelievers to such a degree that in helplessness, they began to describe him as a man bewitched. Oh my goodness. They were simply unable to cope with the excellence of his character and the revelations revealed to him. Don't tell me they were also having fits <laughs> in epilepsy. <laughs> Shocked. <laughs> overwhelmed. Too overwhelmed. <laughs> Conquering the all-conquering force of the Holy Prophet's words and deeds. Stupefy. How are you going to even stand in front of God on Judgment Day? I don't know. Muslims, you know, at the, and uh, then meet Bibi Fatma Tazara. You will just go behosh. You'll faint. You won't be able to. Like some Sayyid told me you know, from Imam Musa Kazim that Bibi, uh, his daughter, Holy Prophet's daughter, Bibi Fatima Zahra, is made of fire. You can't touch her. If you touch her, you'll burn. That's what she told. That's what he told me when he came. My father knew him, and he came to my house to heal me, but he failed. <laughs> right? What? We're going. To, no one can touch Bibi Fatima Zahra. You will. Um, Burn. That's why when Abu ba uh, when Omar came to her house, you know, <laughs> she said, uh, "No, let me. If you touch me, you are going to burn." <laughs> so he just had to burn the door. Okay, this. Can you see this? Uh, what? Okay, now I'm going to read the verse 47. We know best why it is they listen. When they listen to thee and when they meet in private conference, behold, the wicked say you follow none other than a man bewitched. Okay. It is surprising that even some Muslims have fabricated a few traditions which report that he was enchanted by the Jews because Akapuya says that he cannot be enchanted 
like put under a spell or something by the Jews. He was too above that. There were people who were like uh, enchanted by him. So how could they listen? So please listen to Jiddu Krishnamurti who doesn't enchant or stupefy you. Disbelievers. Maybe the believers who are different. They go. Sit there and listen to his, and get, you know, like, please sit down. We are going to Ablogika. Uh, please, us, a Gehri Sansli. And, uh, you know, Jiddu Krishnamurti also sometimes starts with the weather, how beautiful this tree <coughs> in autumn looks like. <coughs> That's how he used to start his discourses, his uh, sh s showing showing what is, so we can see it. But if we don't want to see it, then we can be here. You can be here, Muslim. Just the thing that if you can just uh, stop killing for, you know, to defend him, Prophet Muhammad, that would serve my purpose. And uh, and the thing is, uh, the per this and the other thing is what this ayat says. This other ayat that we brought him for justice, for justice's sake, because God does not do an atom's worth of injustice to his creatures. The verse in the Quran, okay. And uh, so, did you get this, Ali Imran? Or do I have to read more from Ali Imran? They say, Our Lord, do not let our hearts deviate after. Oh, I've reached, uh, what is this? This is verse 8. Okay, uh, verse 8. Why isn't it loading more? Okay, it's not loading more, so, you know, I'll just go to my notes. It's not loading more verses, Al Imran, from the Chrome. You see all this. Uh, so now, did I read this, uh, Ibrahim? Ali, uh, and this is in the books of the earliest revelations, the scripture of Abraham and Musa. Suhufi Ibrahim wa Musa. And this is in the books of the earliest revelation. Inna hatta lafi asuhu fiyal ula. Surah Ali, Surah Ala, verse 18 and 19 I read earlier. I read before, I read 19, the last verse. And the second last verse in Surah Allah, now I read, okay? And now I'm going to read this verse. Uh, so it's, um, these are the signs of Allah. We, we rehearse them to thee in truth. And Allah means no injustice to any of his creatures. No injustice. Right. Huh? So which verse? These are the verses of Allah. Surah Ali Imran, verse 108. Now, if someone finds out that... No, no. These are the verses of Allah. We recite them to you. In truth, but I see falsehood in it. And Allah wants no injustice. I mean, my head would fly off. You know, Allah wants no injustice to the worlds, i.e., His creatures. 
Can you not see what injustice has been done that I've been showing you? Through the contradictions, through the senseless, I mean, this way putting it and exploiting it to such an extent, putting a verse like this about Abraham, exploiting the position of Abraham, right? He's no more. He cannot come here. But saying to them, now I know Jesus Christ cannot come right now. And I say to the Christians, you know, you're Jesus Christ. The Christians can tell me that uh, Prophet Muhammad is a false prophet. We can't believe him. Jews and Christians can have an argument saying that, you know, whatever this way, that no, you're, and none of, neither Abraham can come down, nor Jesus Christ can come down, nor Moses can come down right now. To correct them. So wait as we are waiting. Oh my God, the Quran ayat, okay? But look at this. How he exploited. From my side, I say this. O people of the scripture. Again, I'm reading Surah Al Imran, verse 65. O people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham? You know, Christian, Jews, Christians, Ali Kitab means Jews and Christians. People of the scripture means Jews and Christians. And he's well put it like his Allah. O oh people, O oh people of the scripture, O oh people, Betty Labelle. You know her song, Patty LaBelle's, Patty LaBelle's song, O oh, people. So, you will be very, very angry at me. You know, I'm uh, the ego. Oh, Muji Baba. In, uh, you know, people coming there and getting quite aggravated. Sometimes bad feeling coming in the hall, in the Sangha. Sometimes, you know, some person acting very weird with Muji Baba. Oh, oh, I have to. What are you saying, Muji? Uh, you know, they don't come in front. Like, but uh, some of them even, you know, try to. And they can't test him because when they once get up to, they fail. O oh, people of the scripture, why do you argue about this uh, ego? We don't know. You know, we have a tsunami. <laughs> so, if you are stuck, if you are Sayyid, you would want to grab my neck. Pounce at me right now. Sayyid Shia or Sayyid Sunni. From Imam Hassan. <coughs> They say there are that we have some Pakistani Sayyids, you know, from Imam Hassan progeny. Ooh. So, O oh people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham? Why do you argue about Abraham? While the Torah and the Gospel. Please look at this and be very, very open your Quran to Surah Al Imran, verse 65. We'll try to exhaust every Sunni side. Shia side, but one side I cannot exalt uh, is the way this, you would say it's the miracle of God, but I say it's an exploitation of great extent. And if now Khomeini was alive, he would have put a fatwa on me, that killer. In any way, just do it. A Shia, Khomeini. Killer. Stabbing. Whatever. Probably even have a find Facebook. People killing. Oh, don't ask me where this can go. You know what happened to the satanic verses? Public publication agencies and all. O people of the scripture, 
Why do you argue about Abraham? Why do you argue about Abraham? Because, you know, the Jews told, we are told in the New Testament, the Jews told the Christians, no, or that he was, he's a father. So who are you? So he said, Jesus Christ said, before Abraham was, I am. Right? So I am who I am from Moses. The Christians, some of them, I mean, there could be a misunderstanding, but there also could be some prejudice, but there also could be a misunderstanding and not a prejudice. We need to bring people together in goodwill. Goodwill hunting, a movie, American movie. Please come here and for the sake of truth, justice now, right? Not for just being right. The Arabs, because there were pagan Arabs too, finished finished. So Arabs have nothing to lose. If they lose this Arab prophet, the greatest prophet, they have pagan. What about those Baduans? Some of them who did not want to go. So on one hand, if you even, if we Shias even take Karbala, what Oh, Imam Hussain, what if my um, brother says, Oh, Imam Hussain, I cannot go to the military. My sister, I want to, uh, I have a life, I have business. And, you know, here in Dubai. <laughs> huh? What if, now, I asked the sheikhs also who would have a thing on me, right? His Excellencies, sheikhs, His Highness. You would send the Emirati army, but would you go yourself? Because you are not, you are not the prophet or his progeny. You are not his grandson, Imam Hussain. So there in Karbala, we are told Imam Hussain saved Islam and humanity thus, and this one God and this race from being destroyed. Because if this race doesn't believe in one God, then God says no. This human race, what is humanity in oneness? Nothing. That's one thing, but the mo if you are human humanity, but if this humanity, uh -huh, you have to believe in God's message. And you have to help Prophet Muhammad. And then you have to help. Amir al muminin was the only one to help him. That's why he was the commander. So back to the point where would you help? Prophet Muhammad here, he says to the Baduans that you left you just wanted to stay behind. Now imagine the cool funds are writing letters to Imam Hussain. You come and help us now. How many letters were written? You see, on the other side, there are people oppressed and they claim to help the oppressed. Allah will come to your aid. But when the Imam is present in Hazir Nazir, like you can see him, he's present. Is his life going to be in danger? or? <clears throat> so there was a confusion. And at this point also, I forgot, sorry. Uh, you know, like the Imam. His life is in danger, but <clears throat> believers are guardians one of another. <clears throat> <clears throat> 
<clears throat> and Surya Nisa. Women, <clears throat> men, children crying out to Allah, praying, crying out, please send me, send us a helper from you, sir. Right? So, Surya Nisa Ayat, I just cannot go searching for it right now. My throat is also now dry and hurting. Maybe I should take some water. A little bit is left. Right, so Surya Nisa Ayat. Now the Kufans were asking Imam Hussein to come and help him. And here we're told in Surah Fat that the Baduan, and we are told you must help him. Surah Fat, Surah Fat. And also, only God's name, no. You have to. So what does verse 9 say? So that also. So I haven't finished that. I could have forgotten to. Uh, so I went to Imam Hussein. You see here, so verse 9. Chapter 48 of the Quran. From, uh, you know, from those who mention Lord's name alone in the Quran, uh, the disbelievers turn away in aversion, right? And uh, so here it is, verse 9, that you people, so the Shia commentary imams quiet on this part of the verse where it says they turn in aversion when God's name, when the Lord's name alone is mentioned in the Quran, they turn in aversion, right? So we have here, and I've just, I have to just rest my back, very tired. Um, verse 9, that you people may believe in Allah and his messenger and honor him and respect him and exalt him morning and afternoon and where does it say assist him there's a different translation here that you may assist help him what does it say word by word that you may believe in Allah and his messenger and may honor him and respect him and glorify him morning and evening. They put Allah here. Even the Shias have done this, you know. Surah Fat Ayat to Ayat 9. By honoring, they say by honoring him and respecting him, we're actually exalting Allah morning and evening. Morning and afternoon, or morning and evening, some translations. So we don't even have a oh, imam who can. Uh, so where does it say you have to assist him? Oh, it's a bit different. You said these are different translations. Okay. Hmm. So we have truly sent thee as a witness and as a bringer of glad tidings and as a warner. That was the ayat previous to this ayat I read in, in the beginning, Surah Fat's ayat. Indeed, those who pledge allegiance. So I have to, okay, then I have to come back here for Baduans then and open a tab. Open. Uh, oh, uh, it is already opened. New tab. Where do I go on and that uh, you help assist? Does it say assist the messenger of Allah? Just searching. 
quran.com surah oh messenger convey all that has been sent down to you surah fat on a uh, assist him uh, above them and they do all their commands so only surah fat where it says like help the messenger will you also oh, in surah fat it could be that you know they didn't help the messenger surah oh i could i oh, yeah going to the badu and uh surah fat where is that badu and those who remain behind of the baduans surah fat ayat 11 those who remain behind of the baduans will say to you our properties <clears throat> and our families occupied us so ask forgiveness for us they say with their tongues what is not within their hearts say then who could prevent allah at all if he intended for you harm or intended for you benefit it doesn't say here but you thought the message that the messenger and the believers would never return to their families yes uh, made pleasing in your hearts and you became a ruined assumption of evil then indeed we have uh, whoever has not believed in allah and his messenger then indeed we have prepared for the disbelievers a blaze a blaze uh and to all belongs okay uh those who remain behind will say never will you follow us they wish to change the words of allah just reading through like this or rather envy us lagged behind say to those who remain behind of the baduans you will be called to face a great military might like not in the year after but here you may fight them in this world a great military might say to the desert arabs who lagged behind you shall be summoned to fight against a people a people given to vehement war then shall you fight or they shall sub- submit then if you show obedience you have to obey to them. prophet muhammad allah will grant you a goodly reward but if you turn back as you did before he'll punish you with a grievous penalty or a painful penalty there is uh, so i've just reached this lame any guilt upon the ill okay there is not upon the blind any guilt or upon the lame any guilt or upon the ill any guilt for remaining behind and whoever obeys allah and his messenger he will admit him to guard gardens and but who turns back punish grievous just sh- short cut reading verse 18 now certainly was allah pleased with the believers when they pledged they were so whosoever helps allah in this way uh Allah has promised you gains that you shall acquire. Again 21. And he promises other victories that you were so far unable to realize. Allah has encompassed. Makkans did turn the then they would not find a protector or helper. Establish trying to find the, that verse here. that uh, you must help this messenger hmm. not believing men and uh, while the unbelievers got the house okay i can find it so um uh, ah uh, god 
verse uh, 29 of Surah Fat. Muhammad is the messenger of Allah and those with him are forceful <clears throat> against the disbelievers, merciful among themselves. You see them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking bounty from Allah and his pleasure. The sign is in their faces from the effect of prostration. That is their description. I mean, they are Muslims, right? This is what we rejoice in, that Abraham was a Muslim. These stupid Jews and Christians couldn't get it. Uh, this is the description in the Torah. Uh -huh. And the description in the Gospel. Why are you giving this? Oh, very good, yeah. If he didn't, then, you know, wh why didn't he? But uh, you're saying on one hand, here, that Abraham's description is in the Torah. And description in the Gospel is as a plant which produces its offshoots or oh, Abraham we will give you your progeny will be like you know you'll have so many children like stars or more than stars description in the gospel is as a plant which produces its offshoots and strengthens them so they grow firm and stand upon their stalks delighting the sours so that he may arrange, he, i.e., Allah may enrage by them the disbelievers. Now, here, what happens? Tahara is you, uh, this is great knowledge we can bear witness to. Proof has come that the Messenger of Allah, not knowing the Tahara in Jeel, God has been sending him these verses. Unlettered prophet. Some say no, no, he knew how to write and some, uh, some Shias actually say no. As far as I know. I don't know if there are dissenting religious, Shia religious scholars or what is, but they all, all of them get it from the Imam. <laughs> and we have, no, no. The Twelver Shias have one Imam. So they couldn't recognize uh, Ibrahim. Little knowledge came to them. Right? Uh, so this incomplete Torah, incomplete Injil, they didn't want, uh, then the Jews and the Christians are then again blamed that you did, you corrupted. That's why you can't recognize. But does it say there that you corrupt? Why are you disputing about Jews and Christians? Why are you disputing about Abraham? He was a Muslim. He was not, not a Christian. Why are you disputing when the lit first, no, see, go step by step as the, uh, sorry, this fell, my live stream, mobile. Which, on which I'm live stream here. Battery is very low. Uh, so, Muhammad is the messenger of Allah, and those with him are forceful against the dispute. Uh, just skipping some here because what is important is merciful among themselves. You see them bowing and prostrating in prayer. So what was Abraham? And so the Jews, oh my God, Surah Jumayat again. Just, I'm going to just use one word. Abraham, believing in one God. He was one nation. He was Hanif, upright. He was a Muslim. Uh, people who followed him were, you know, who followed what were worth him and all this, right? So, isn't that saying like we are the friends of Allah, we are the chosen, because we are the followers of the chosen? <laughs> oh my God! So, 
how this thing was exploited. Uh, the sign, and so you see them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking bounty from Allah. Uh-huh. Forcing, and do you see them bowing and prostrating in prayer? Oh, seeking pleasure in Allah, uh, bounty from Allah and His pleasure. Their sign, their sign, they couldn't recognize. Why are you, why are you people? About Abraham. Why are you people disputing about Abraham? See, it's not even a politic, maybe it's a political, if you put it that way, that they say Abraham was a Jew, Christ, Christ says, yes, but I was before Abraham was. I am before Abraham was. <laughs> okay, you can put it as a political or a religious. No, Muhammad never had a religious if you see, you don't have a religious war, then you just let them be. You don't have a religious war. But isn't this a religious jihad war? Also, another point to be noted. Because if someone tells you that man is in conflict, uh, these are not man-made religions, but these are true prophets who came, and they never were in conflict. Before Muhammad came, the Jews and the Christians, they knew that uh, Christ, Abraham was the father, but uh, then now Jesus said, what conflict were they in? What about Abraham? I mean, you can say about the Messiah, they were in conflict. And so they could not believe. But only Jesus told them, because he said, I'm the Messiah now. I'm your Messiah. So they must have been in conflict about the Messiah, not in this blasphemy from Jesus Christ, as they claimed. Or uh, this, uh, or what the Jews say, that he was not from David's seed. But it, the conflict was about uh, Jesus Christ and not Abraham. So when the Jews asked him, who are you? Because we are the children of Ab Abraham was our father. He said before. So that little, uh, this thing, well, it it's not even right to say that the Jews and the Christians, because this fall, for Jews it was a false Messiah, Jesus Christ. So to use this argument this way, to put it in this way to them, is not right about Abraham. You can say, you both are in conflict about the Messiah. But about Abraham, you don't recognize him, you don't know much of him, you have no knowledge of him, little knowledge that you have, little knowledge, then why is he quoting these things from, if uh, uh, these books are not replete with full knowledge, then you, you know anyone can take it from, a uh, copy, uh, take it from the verses, and very clever people, I tell you. I can, I'm not able to, uh, you know, what I mean, this is the description in the Torah and the description in the Gospel is as a plant. And the description in the Torah is that you will find, see them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking bounty from Allah and His pleasure. The sign is in the faces from the effect of prostration. Like, you know, we get this turbat on, if we prostrate on, Imam Hussein's uh, Durbat uh, from the land of, uh, so the father of earth, 
Abu Talib, uh, Imam Ali, sorry, Abu Turab. Oh God, that's what I'm saying. I can't say this properly. His son, right, who died in Karbala. So we say we are supposed to prostrate on dust, not on the cloth that the Sunnis, you know, they put uh, cloth and they prostrate. So we choose the dust of Karbala to prostrate on. Put our foreheads. And then we get this mark here on our forehead with a lot of prostration, you know, you get this mark. Okay, this is the end. So I was, uh, there are discrepancies. But if you want to be a Shia, you can be a Shia. I've shown you my side. What I've seen here is a hypocrite. And a very high, of high order. A very high order. Like using Allah. And using his ability of this, you know, being a poet. Right? Because even uh, the whole scriptures are not written like this poetically, right? That he has written. As Allah has written. Anyhow, so this, but I cannot come here. If you have a high order, like I could not get it. She asked, I wanted, like Bibi Fatma, just, my cousin told me, my mother's cousin told me about the secret of Fatima. You know, the book Fatima also has, because she's from the Holy Five. Uh, so she has a separate book. And then the Ummul Kitab maybe has everything. And this Quran is from that Ummul Kitab, heavenly book. The mother of all books, I don't know, heavenly book or not. The Quran calls it because I have to be very careful uh, so this and anything else, again back to that. So the last now, the last, hopefully, I can, um, this to me, on one hand, looks like a very, uh, Jews could not recognize him as a true prophet, could not, and he says, now you bear witness. Yeah, so Surah Ali Imran, how can they bear witness? Right? Uh, how can they bear witness? So going to, I don't know what's happened to my Chrome, Surah Ali Imran. Yeah, I'm slow, you know that. Okay. Oh, God. Worthy of worship. Yes, and do not associate anyone. He sent down upon you, Muhammad, the book in truth, confirming what was before it, and we revealed the Torah and the Gospel. Verse 3 of Al Imran. You see, it, it is he who sent down to thee, step by step, in brackets. In truth, the book, confirming what we what went before it, and he sent down the law of Moses and the gospel of Jesus. For before as guidance for the people, and he revealed the criterion in i.e. the Quran in brackets, close bracket. Indeed, those who disbelieve in the verses of Allah will have a severe punishment. And Allah is exalted in might and the owner of retribution. Five, indeed from Allah nothing is hidden in the earth nor in the heaven. Okay, if nothing is hidden, please send that knowledge to us. But they had to send it piecemeal. Because you know people, weak people and even foolish people and even uh, stupid uh, people, pray do not mock me. You know, King Lear, Shakespeare. 
I am afraid I am not in my right mind. 6, verse 6, it is he who forms you in the, okay, wombs. 7, that's, that verse is not important. It is he who sent down to you, O Muhammad, the book. In it are verses that are precise and, and unspecific. Okay, someone who seeks that is not right. Uh, just going through, just 8, verse 8, who say, Our Lord, let not our hearts deviate. Okay, hearts have a tendency to deviate, astray. Verse 9, skipping some. Our Lord, surely we will gather the people on the day in which there is no doubt. In the, okay, there is no doubt about that day too. 10, indeed those who disbelieve never will their wealth. Okay, but where is this uh, Pharaoh? They denied the signs. Okay, 12, say to those who disbelieve, you will be overcome and gathered together to hell. Okay, wretched is the destination, bed. 13, already there has been for you a sign in the two armies which met. Why, Jangeba? Okay, the, a victory was with the believers, one fighting in the cause of Allah and another of disbelievers. They saw them to be twice their own number by their eyesight, okay? Uh, beautified for people is the love of that which they desire, of women and sons. He, oh, mm -hmm. I wonder why God uh, in Surah Azab said to this Prophet, now stop it, now no more, whom you find beautiful, you exchange your wives or, you know, you marry, except for what you are right hands possess. <laughs> yeah. 15. Say, shall I inform you of something better than that? Mm. For those who fear Allah, gardens in presence of the Lord beneath purified spouses, companions pure and holy. Yeah, even like without the voluptuous, you'll have... Taharatan and approval from Allah. So besides the voluptuous women in paradise, you will get pure ones too. 16, those who say, Our Lord, indeed we have believed, so forgive us our sins from the punishment of the fire. No. Okay, agony of the brunt. You don't want to go in the, yeah, no. The patient, the true obedient forgiveness. Allah witnesses that there is no deity except him. And so do the angels and, and those of knowledge. But how is it that the knowledge Abraham did not give to the Jews? Forget the Christians right now. Let's talk about the Jews. And he is maintaining creation in justice, built gist. There is no deity except him. The exalted in might, the wise. How is it that you Jews, this one God, very important, Abraham, you must have recognized Prophet Muhammad and become Muslims, but the ones who didn't like Huawei and the Bani Quraysa tribe couldn't see that he was. Let's bear witness. You want me to bear witness that he is a prophet? Even I cannot right now I, with my heart, with my hand on my heart, like, I, I'm not trying to deceive you people. Allah witnesses that there is no deity except Him. So do the angels and those of knowledge. Who are the Ulil Amar? People in authority or? Of the knowledge. The first standing. No, the and owners of the knowledge standing in justice. So wasn't Abraham standing in justice? So you know what this means if Allah, Allah being a witness, Allah witnesses that there is no deity. Shouldn't he come up with the uh, 
Jews should become Muslims and the angels and those of knowledge maintaining creation that he is maintaining is he standing in justice no it's not like this there is no God except him so sorry this translation Yusuf Ali those endured with knowledge standing firm on justice okay where did I read in creation or oh, say international 19 and that was in brackets so I got confused indeed the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam and those who were given the scripture did not differ except after knowledge had come to them. Nineteen, verse nineteen. See, knowledge has to come to them. But then here, why does he address? See, because I went straight to that verse in my first video. Surah Al Imran. See, indeed the religion in the sight of Allah is Islam. And those who were given the scripture did not differ, did, were not in a conflict. Except after knowledge had come to them. Knowledge came to them. Out of jealousy, and out of jealous animosity between themselves. And whoever disbelieves in the verses of Allah, then indeed Allah is swift in taking account. I really don't know how to explain to you this terrible injustice happening through these verses. I do not witness him as a true prophet of Allah. Neither do I have anything to do with him or his Allah or his progeny. So if they argue with you, argue. We are having a discussion. You're saying stand here. You are here. I have submitted myself to Allah in Islam. And so have those who follow me. And say to those who were given the scripture and to the unlearned, have you submitted yourself? How can you say to the unlear unlearned when they can't? How will they see? By reading? Have you submitted yourselves? And if they submit in Islam, they are rightly guided. When a blind man came you, well, the Sunnis say he frowned. Those who disbelieve in the signs of Allah killed the prophets. Now he's without right and killed those who ordered justice from among the people. Give them tidings of a painful punishment. These must be the idolaters of that time, Jewish times, ancient times. 22, they are the ones whose deeds have become very worthless in the world. Do you consi not consider, O Muhammad, those who were given a portion of the scripture? Portion of the scripture? They are invited to the scripture of Allah, that it should arbitrate between them. Who should arbitrate between them? This scripture. Then a party of them turns away and they are refusing. That is because, uh, do you see me turning away, refusing? Now, because I see some discrepancies. Terrible. Horrifying. Devilish. Betrayal of satanic heights. That is because they say never will the fire fire touch us except for a few number days. Deluded are they. Deceive their own religion. Forgeries deceive them as so how will it be when assemble them for a day of doubt? I see more than pain, you know, punishment, fear than proper signs coming. Say, oh Allah, owner of sovereignty, you give so sovereignty. This nice verse, you cause the night, okay. 
Right? Living out of dead, you bring the dead out of the living. Never have heard of reincarnation. But yes, resurrection, please. 28. Let not believers take disbelievers as allies, supporters. Okay. okay. Has nothing associated with Allah. I wonder what the Jews say about this, really. Say whether you conceal what is in your breast. Oh, goodness. The day every soul find what has done, good present. Very good. Very bad. 31. Say, O oh, Muhammad, if you should love Allah, then follow me. Hmm? So Allah will love you. I don't know who you are. I really cannot bear witness to your prophethood. How can I bear witness? I love Allah. Maybe those idol worshippers, they loved Allah. And everyone is, you know how he's, oh my God, I can see it. Now, say obey Allah and, oh, you jump to this. Obey Allah and uh, the messenger. But if you turn away, then indeed, Allah does not like the disbelievers. So when he says fight, meaning fight, war meaning war, if he tells Zainab bin Josh, marry against your liking, choice, marry, Zed, marry, say obey Allah and obey his messenger. If you then turn back, Allah love it, not those who reject faith. What is the criteria for faith? You have to obey Allah and obey his messenger. This one. 33. Indeed, Allah chose Adam and Nu, really, and the family of Abraham. If Allah chose Adam and Nu and the people of Nu could not recognize Nu, like the Jews cannot... Jews and Christians are in conflict, ever so much conflict against Abraham, about Abraham. Right? Indeed, Allah chose Adam and Noah. Good for you, good for you, messengers. We are all gone cases. Indeed, Allah chose Adam and Noah. Even those now, Jews are gone cases. Even the Christians are gone cases. Idol worshippers are gone cases and we apostates are gone cases. Indeed, Allah chose Adam and Noah and the family of Abraham and the family of Imran over the worlds, of, above all people. Jews, why do you say that you are friends of Allah, you claim, excluding all others? And what has God done here? You know the Jews, Abraham is their father and Abraham was a Muslim. Because Prophet Muhammad just, as Allah has said, because he believed in one God, he maintained a covenant with God that he will always worship this one God. Prophet Muhammad used it, it seems, right? And made the Jews like, to, they still, you know how much their book, whole book on like the Muslims, Ibrahim, Allah, blessings on Ibrahim and the family of Ibrahim. These are chosen above all else. Whatever the reason may be, they're chosen above all else. Descendants, some of them from others, Allah is hearing among them. Mention of Muhammad when the wife of Imran said, my Lord indeed, okay. And when she delivered, uh, yeah. So her Lord accepted her good, okay, and Mary cried, yeah. And the Zechariah called upon his Lord, saying, my Lord, yeah. So the angels called him while he was standing in prayer in the chamber. Yeah. Idol worshippers going to hell. Yeah. Confirming a word from Allah, okay. 
and all, all the words of Allah are blessed. He said, my Lord, I will have a boy. Okay, this I have to skip. He said, my Lord, make me a sign. Your sign is that you will... What was Abraham? In itself, in himself, he was not a sign for the Jews to see. He said, my Lord, make me a sign. Ayat. He said, your sign is that you will... Oh, make me... Make for me a sign. Okay. Sorry. I just got this one wrong. But they, oh, that this reminds me. Wasn't this prophet himself a sign with a, a proof? What is the proof of Abraham that he's a, maybe when he stands up and he, God knows, really. So much confusion. 42, and mentioned when the angel said to Mary, indeed Allah has chosen you and purified you and chosen you above the women of the world. Good for the Christians, please become Muslims. 43, O Mary, be devoutly obedient to your Lord and prostrate and bow with those above. 44, that is from news of the unseen which we reveal to you. O Muhammad, and you were not with them when they cast their pens as to which of them should be responsible for Mary. Nor were you with them when they disputed. I have spoken about this arrow casting. <coughs> uh, and mention when the angels said, O Mary, indeed Allah gives you good tidings of a word from him whose name will be the Messiah. Jesus, son of Mary, Mary, distinguished in this world from among those bad men. He will speak to the people. I just, uh, she said, oh my Lord, how will I have a child? And no man is touching him. Okay. Such is a like grace what he wills. And decrees of my days have to be and it is. And he will teach him. So you know the mind is beautiful. And ugly sometimes with false coming signs you can really you know think oh yeah these are great verses I see them so greatly none even the Jews kept their names Jews and Christians Christ but we are named <coughs> what our father was named. We were relatives of Abraham. We followed this prophet in Abraham, the right way. Very beautiful verses. And make him a messenger to the people of Israel. People of Israel? Children of Israel, sorry. What? No, no. And make him, really? But of little knowledge do you have? Of whom? Oh, this is about Jesus Christ. Believers. Indeed, in that is a sign for you, if you are believers. What is a sign? And make him a messenger to the children of Israel. This is verse uh, 49, Al Imran. Yes, yeah, so I come to the sign now and make him a messenger to the children of Israel, Jesus Christ, who will say, Indeed, I have come to you with a sign from your Lord, in that I design for you from clay, that which is like the form of a bird, then I breathe into it, and it becomes a bird by my, by, not my, sorry, by permission of Allah, and I cure the blind from birth, and the leper, and I give life to the dead. My permission of Allah, by permission, sorry, excuse me. And they inform you of what you eat and what you store in your houses. Indeed, that's a sign for you if you are believers. And I've come confirming what was before me of the Torah and to make lawful for you. And I've come confirming what was before me 
of the Torah and to make lawful for you? Okay, uh, but Jews did not believe in him and Jews killed him. Indeed, Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship him. This is the straight path. But when Jesus felt persistent in disbelief from them, he said, Who are my supporters from the cross? Jesus is not telling them you go to hell. You will be burning if you go against me. Jesus just, when he, see Jesus, such disbelief from them, he said, even hypocrites, there's disbelievers. Who are my supporters for the cause of Allah? The disciples said, we are supporters for Allah. And he was a sign. He, he did so many miracles. He was given so many signs, like Moses was. All these signs recognized by the Israelites about their prophets. Then they killed him, killed all of them. I think Moses disappeared in the mountains, didn't he? Somewhere he went away. Our Lord, we have believed in what? I don't think Moses was killed or died. I thought I read in the Bible somewhere, Old Testament, not sure. So maybe, maybe yeah, he died. So register us among the witnesses for truth. Our Lord, we have believed in what we revealed. And now they're praying. They're taught how to pray. And we have followed the messenger, i.e. Jesus. So register us among the witnesses. Now remember, our Lord, we believe in what has, thou hast sent. We follow the messenger, thou hast revealed. And we follow the messenger. Then write us down among those who bear witness. They say, I eat the disbelievers plan. But Allah planned, and Allah is the best of planners. <coughs> you Muslims, let me read that uh, huh? for the sake of Mary who covered in hijab. No man coming to me, raping me, or psychic rapes. I prayed so and to so much to Allah for that you Muslims eyeing me like that. Huh? Shame on you. I can sense. But you know I prayed to Allah. Even then he not helping me in Karachi. I getting these lecherous looks. While I'm working here now, I'm not going to end this. Because, you know, you harassed your prophet, promised pleasing the hypocrite Umul Mumini. You, I will, uh, so for the sake, come on, get your eyes off me. For the sake of Allah I gave you in Karachi, for the sake of Prophet Muhammad, and now, Allah, I was in the house, so people making fun of me that she's smoking in the house. But I, but uh, Bibi Mariam, in the house, hijab, she went in total hijab. She guarded her chastity. So, but I... You know, want to be sincere, God's help coming. The more I read Nade Ali, the more bad things I do. Nade Ali and Mazarella Joy. Dajatu. So don't punish me. I tried my best. You know, my aunt here in. She reminded me, and then Muqaddas also, the youngest son. But Muqaddas said, oh my God, I know that you have learned Nadi Ali. You taught us Nadi Ali from childhood, saying, I learned two and a half years old when I, until Lely Begum school. <coughs> so when I, in London, this, this um, very bad thing, this uh, witch wanting up, what, they separate me from the principal thinking I'm, going after a corruption, you know. This uh, Farhan come and uh, read my hand. You will become, you will become a lesbian or what? No. I do with my hand. 
perhaps you know better to do than to have mutas done I tell you better to masturbate marinate in masturbation than to do, do this go to you know I take pleasure in your and I pay you so Mukata say I'm very scared at least I have a husband this witch wanting you people to you know go to bed and do bad dirty things I reading Nadia Ali Nadia Ali Nadia Ali 40 every night my aunt tell me here how many times I should read it does be doing no help coming but as Zera may your hands perish fire coming Abu Lahab May your two hands perish. Where's the light? This is what we recite to you, O Muhammad, of the verses and precise and wise message. The Quran. Precise and wise message. Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. Excuse me. He created him from dust. So now what do you Christians want? <laughs> Listen to Dr. David Wood and the Sam Shaman. <laughs> Maybe it's Sam Shaman, Adam together, you know, not very well behaved. They want you to say Christianity bad. Bad people, bad. Bad people, Christians hate us. Quran verse true. The truth is from your Lord, so do not be among the doubters. I read whole Al Imran for you. Then whoever argues with you about it after this knowledge has come to you, say, uh, after knowledge has come to you, say, come, let us call our, you know what the Jesus Christ, Israeli. Who baby Maryam? Who her ma his mother? Our women, yourself, then let us earnestly pray and invoke a curse. True narration. This is the true account. There is no God except Allah. Firstly, say like God, no association, nothing. Don't like those, uh, only call upon Allah. Only call the name of the Lord. Say, oh, and then what you... You have to obey the messenger. Say, oh people, what if I was there as Zainab and Josh? And he said, get married against your liking. Huh? You know, we say immediately when Prophet Muhammad say, because he Allah's decree like, so if he say, get married to Zed, what should happen to my heart? I, if I, a good Muslim, obey, obedient, pious, salihin Allah, what happened to my heart? Don't tell me it is a test for Zainab. See, now you Shias and all Muslims, you making excuses for your religion. You see, uh, she was a proud, she was a Quraysh widow. Arrogant and not allowed for, right? Arrogance not allowed. Wasn't Imam Ali a proud follower? Was he Wali Allah of the Messenger of Allah and thus Allah? I was before even Jesus, I... Uh, you know, and uh, like some, you know, things like that. Say, oh, people of scripture, come to a word that is equitable between us and you. Now you make them say, 
that we will not worship except Allah and not associate anything with Him. What the Moses say? Do not make images of God and all this, statues, except Allah and not associate anything with Him and not take one another as lords instead of Allah. This I show myself and uh, what can I do? If I still stu stuck on this, but if they turn away, then say, bear witness that we are Muslims. Ah, uh, this bowing to Allah only. Even Shaitan bow to Allah alone. O people of the scripture, why do you argue about? So you know what? If we say Jesus' likeness to Adam, then let's tell him. We come to this devastating verse 65. You know what we tell him? We tell him if Jesus' likeness to Allah, then all this bowing only to Allah, what happened? Who do you, your Allah tell the angels to bow to? Allah or Adam? Hmm? Adam. Right? Now, Adam, Allah tell angels to bow to Ad Adam. And now you are telling these Adam, children of Adam, to bow to you alone, you alone. Could this be Shaitan? This also could be mischief. See, Sayyid's telling me that we are told, Shias, that the Rasulullah above every angel. <coughs> Even the Archangel Gabriel could not go. Where he bring the information from? From Allah? He could not go to after in Burak, he tell Rasulullah, now you go. Where you are going, my wings are going to burn. This Gnostic knowledge from Shia. Maybe Sunni too, I cannot say. But I know for sure Shia say this. So angels have to bow to Adam. But do you know, indirectly, what he make us do, according to the Shias? Where Imam Ali born in the Kaaba? Who are we bowing to, the house of Allah? The birth of Imam Ali, that also the house of Imam Ali, his birth house, where he die in the mosque. But who are we bowing to now in the house of Allah? Intention is, by the Sunnis and the Shias, that we bow to Allah. But with which direction we are using, Ali? What Gnostic knowledge? O people of the scripture, why do you argue about so this? So you know this problem getting that Shaitan do not associate no partners with him. Me reading that we associate, that we worship none but Allah, that we associate no partners with him, that we erect not from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. If they turn back, say you bear witness. No patrons other than Allah. No lords, no patrons, nothing. Then what this messenger coming for guide? Besides Allah. And when the Lord cometh, maybe His uh, Majesty, His Sovereignty cometh. But He should write it properly. O oh, people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham? 
while the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed until after him. Hmm? Then will you not reason? O people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham? While the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed, So now you bring the people in one, Torah, Jews, stop arguing with Christians, Christians stop arguing with the Jews, O oh, people of the scripture, why do you argue about Abraham? while the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed. He could see, see, okay, until this, why do you argue about Abraham, while the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed? This is, while you see, I'm going to be very serious about this now. Okay, why do you argue about Abraham? Surely, okay, they argue. Let's say a lot, a lot. They argue. They don't have full information, the Torah. But they themselves misunderstand something like that. Or maybe they don't want to see. What? But, seeing this, while the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed, until after him, then will you not reason? Until, while the Torah and the Gospel were not revealed, until after him. Please, the Jews have information about, in the Torah, that the Torah was given to Abraham on his tongue. They have full knowledge of that. And the Jews in their scriptures, through their scriptures, they have knowledge that uh, Abraham, in the tongue of Abraham, knowledge of the Torah was already given to him by God. Full knowledge he observed. Right? were not revealed until after him. Meaning, 66 verse, here you are. Here you are. Those who argued about what? For you. So we think Prophet Muhammad the greatest made Allah, Allah, his book, and Prophet Muhammad, the greatest mediator. Here you are, those who have argued about that, which you have some knowledge. But why do you argue about that, of which you have no knowledge? No knowledge. Now Jews are uh, thinking that uh, we thought our scripture at that time, for that time was complete. It had complete knowledge about Abraham. Because you see, this is not about the Messiah, one who come later. This is about Abraham. The verse continues from six, 65 to 66. Abraham, why you dispute about Abraham? I will tell you what Abraham really was. 
which and what you say here like some knowledge but why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge meaning abraham did not give the jews any knowledge that he was a muslim and that listen <clears throat> after some time from the race of ishmael my son will come an arabian prophet and you then go for him right so then we will check ishmael isaac will get like in the what in the hebrew bible about isaac check and what in the hebrew bible about like they have so these even the scriptures are failing and now this how can they if they don't recognize at that time abraham how can they recognize prophet muhammad and if you're telling them you have no knowledge of abraham jews complete in like walwala oh my god commotion of confusion chaos disorder now they're saying but uh, if you're telling us that in our scripture not the full knowledge of abraham given to us no knowledge of what you are going to give to us then how will we know you are prophet muhammad you are the true prophet huh you claim to know everything given but when we have our scripture you, you point you point to our scripture and you say see here where he don't want to point to their scripture why because he caught he don't have much knowledge Genesis verse, you know, paragraph twenty-six, chapter twenty-six, verse uh, ten. You see, here he could have said, "Ismail." So now he explained in these verses, but these verses too confusing, and they're not like, come on, this is Almighty God. Please don't sell yourself short. <coughs> you are being deceived by just this. Sunnis, Muslims. Oh, Ya Rasulullah, Allah Akbar. We associate no one with Allah. You see, here you are. Those who have argued, oh, Ar Rasulullah, greatest. judge great witness in this quran coming full knowledge of abraham coming full knowledge of abraham coming we not associate anyone abraham hanifa muslim muslimin abraham muslim These stupid Jews, what they know? Forget the Christians now. Even the Christians can argue now against. Well, I don't know, but here, just take the Jews. Here you are, those you, those who have argued about that which you have knowledge. Then they have to put uh, some in bracket. some in bracket before knowledge which you have knowledge but why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge come let me tell you to explain to you he fail uh, to christians about explaining dust adam then you're telling us that there were uh, iblis bow uh, not to bow down but the angel bow down in on your command to whom adam they are also not properly explain 
about there and this Quran not properly explained. So you see, you don't say it like this. You should say it here you are, those who have argued about that of which you have some knowledge. But why do you argue about that of which you have no knowledge? Jews looking at each other, we have no knowledge of Abraham. Maybe the Masih, the some, you know, we confused about or when he coming or how he's not a Jesus Christ. But of Abraham is saying, we have no knowledge. Then, okay. Then what come next? Please tell us, you have knowledge? Yeah, he Muslim. Abraham was neither a Jew nor a Christian. Uh -huh. But he was one inclining toward truth. Ooh, a Muslim, Sabel. <laughs> Afzal is Salat. Was Salam. Alek. Ya Habib Allah. Salam. Salli ala Muhammad. Ali. Ya Abni Abi. Talib. Wa Yadallah. Wajhar. What a nonsense. What, you are kidding us? Or we should appease you before you appease us? Okay, Rasulullah, this is great because you know what? Christians having an imprecation on them. Curse. I have to pay him jizya, tribute. How many Christians are now of Najran? Yeah, we will protect you because now we are Muslims and you live in our, under our territory. So when the Meccans give us a fight or the Jews, you, you, we have must and you, we don't allow to fight for us. We give you protection, money. No, you give us money and we give you as if Jews and uh, the idol worshippers will attack these Christians who have been living in Najran for God knows before even Jesus uh, Muhammad was born. Their forefathers living. They never complain. Never paid jizya to idol worshippers, never paid to Jews, but now they have to pay to the Muslims. Yeah, and indeed, 68 of Ali Imran verse, indeed, the most worthy of Abraham among the people. Most worthy of Abraham. Like, you know, I'm not worthy of you, Muslims. Right? I'm an apostate. But there, indeed, the most worthy of Abraham among, among the people are those who followed him. So, isn't it Jews? Who followed him? Hmm? And this prophet, and those who believe in his message, in bracket, in his message, close bracket, and Allah is the ally, friend, guardian, protector of the believers, friend of many meaning. Okay. Here they put translation protector. A faction of the people of this scripture wish they could mislead you. But they do not mislead except themselves and they perceive it not. 
O people of the scripture, why do you disbelieve in the verses of Allah? While you witness to their truth. Okay, I stop here. Come on, Jews, Christians, Murtids. You are convinced? Prophet Muhammad, true Prophet, Abraham, Muslim, Hanif, nation. Jews did not have this knowledge. Jews, you convinced? Your Torah had nothing about Abraham. You know nothing. Why do you argue when you don't have the knowledge of it? Knowledge of what? Abraham, father of the Jews, a Hebrew man himself, not to give his people knowledge when it come to him from God at that time. Are you kidding me? What do you want, Muhammad? Money? I will pay you. Leave me alone. You want Maria the Coptic? You want... Ah. Don't tell me you want Huwai's daughter. Safiya bint Huwai. Now you sleep with her? <laughs> and forcing Zainab to get married to? Once Zainab, once Prophet Muhammad said, get married, what? Our hearts change for that person, right? Believers obey. Zainab and Josh, did, uh, they have to divorce. What happened there? I don't know what they did. Oh, people of the scripture, why do you mix confuse the truth with false? Conceal the truth while you know. That's what you have done. And the faction of the people of the scripture say to each other, believe in that which was revealed to the believers at the beginning of the day and reject it at its end, that perhaps they will return, abandon their religion. What nonsense. <coughs> I've never... Have you seen anyone... <clears throat> any Christian Jew saying this? Of course they know he's, uh, you know, and he know that. And <laughs> the Jews and the Christians know he's a false prophet. So obvious, like Dr. David Wood is saying right now in videos on YouTube. It was obvious for the Jews at that time. So please, you know. A section of the people of the book, yani Jews and Christians, say believe in the morning what is revealed to the believers, but rejected it because, you know, they must be so tired, correct, like I am right now. I must go now. Cause, uh, so, look at this guy, man. Oh, sorry, excuse me. American. Sorry. Oh, blimey. British. <laughs> Oh my God, this is too much for me. And still you want me to stick to these ridiculous verses of the Quran? Oh no, I'm not going to. Thank you. I end. And I make my life a little, give my, a moment, please. Of true living, true moment here, with no fake prophet. And the no noses, you know, Shaitan also we say no. How God give him so much knowledge? <laughs> so, if any Gnostic knowledge coming to you about Fatima, Zahra, Ali, Hassan, Hussein, please keep it to yourself, she asks. Because I need to save the other Jews, Christians, to show that how true you were at that time and what a fool and you can see these believers who follow him are, you know, sorry to say, but they're really devoid of that uh, brilliant intellect. You know? That's why our minds deteriorating. We are getting ruined. Our, our intellect is going, at least with the reason we thought as it says here, reason, apply reason. 
And if you apply this kind of reason that the Quran has given you about Abraham, really you will get a, a laugh. Uh, the pity you, the Jews are going to pity, pity you, and the Christians even who I don't believe in at all right now, not even the Jews. I don't believe in Abraham. Okay, I say a lot. I make a video about Abraham and all that. Well, Abraham, right? Or David. Sorry, sorry. I make a video about David and Elizabeth. What is that, all that going on? So please, I don't believe in these Abrahamic religions only to show you that uh, this worse. This, the worst of them coming and lying and even bemusing and fooling someone like the Jews and the Christians, putting a curse and taking jizya from them, scaring them to no end, hellfires, God knows what. So, some Shias are now uh, like my principal Sunni, please, and stop going to the Jews and the Christians and saying become or the idol. I tell you, idol, idol worshippers better. So please stop it, be at peace with yourself, you are in the worst religion, but you know, these people, they will be saved. Don't worry about idol worshippers. Don't worry about Jews. Don't worry about Christians. You worry about yourselves and your intellect and even your soul rotting. Because you know what the Cicero say? Treason, and he treasonous, this prophet. What do you call this prophet? False prophet. Injustice meaning, you know what that verse say, that God not do an atom worth of injustice to his creation or creatures. I'm telling you, he take God that God who do not want to do an atom worth of injustice, that divinity, that even idol worshippers making gods not uh, rotting the souls like he has rotted the souls, falsified Allah the way he has and brought himself up. Surah Fat Ayat. Actually, it should be Exalt Muhammad, the Messenger of Allah. Evening and morning. Morning and evening. But you know what morning, what evening? What this moon calendar? Ramadan start, you will find out when the night start and whether morning start before or night start before. Moon calendar. Okay? And uh, so... Or when Maharam come, she asks, your children will know if they are ab abroad in London or some following the English calendar, going to English schools, when night start, when morning start. And so if you want your souls to rot, I just a warner and I show you. I Burn all my bridges and I'm showing myself to self-help, help for idol, wor idol worshippers, you have to, they don't feel like we idol worshippers and now that the Quran has come to your hand through the Mughals, you not to feel scared. Please. You're not destroying your country, you're not destroying your nafs, you're not destroying your children, you're not destroying your women.
Hmm? You are not destroying you. Keep away from this religion, Islam. Otherwise, you will be destroying your, let me put it like, al Imran. Your children, your women, and your men, yourselves. If this, and Ali, your nafs, and this prophet closer to you, you believe in that? He's shaitan. He mahas shaitan. He big shaitan. Biggest tahut. The leader of shaitans. Thank you so much. I will continue later. As if this is not enough.